This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, what does God require? What does Jesus want from me? It is a reasonable question. We come to Jesus and we're from a religious culture and upbringing. And we ask, what must we do to gain favor with God? We've been told our whole life, go to church, pray, fast, be religious. The focus is on doing. It is more than just a religious culture. It is the way of life in America. So what does God require? What does Jesus want from me? Jesus wants me to work at believing in him. It is about the relationship with him and not what I do. I must believe. So that leads us to his new plan. His mission and Holy Spirit will fill us when we know he cares for us. So here's what Jesus had to say. The religious elites came and said, what should we do to work the works of God? That is to produce the works of God that God requires of us. Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him, the, that you believe in him whom that one, meaning God, has sent. Jesus has just told the crowd not to work for perishable, perishable food, but to work for imperishable food. But they did not catch the equation that he drew between working for food and seeking him as the source. So rather than thinking of the works that Jesus has been doing as signs of freely given salvation, they think of works that God requires them to do for eternal life. They are steeped in legalism. They will get to God if they perform certain works, follow the commandments, and not have a relationship with God. But does Jesus pick up on the crowd's use of work and stretch its meaning, applying it to believing so that God requires the work of believing in Jesus? Favoring a yes answer is Jesus having just said that the work for the food is that that will help them abide. So on the other hand, Jesus will soon say, no one is able to come to me unless the father who sent me draws him, it is written in the prophets, and they'll all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard from the father and learned from him comes to me. And again, no one is able to come to me unless it has been given him to do so by my father. So that's some really good news, brothers and sisters.